so far it's been a learning experience just with living simply and living in a community of um, much lower income like area and a lot of diversity and as well as just being humbled by the work that I do and the homeowners that I meet like how much they've been through and lost and it's constantly humbling um, as far as like my own struggles like in my life um, in comparison to what some of these people have been through in the next the last few years and are still going through because of the difficulties of getting back home as far as simple living she and I live in a house with that holds other volunteers as well short-term volunteers and so we have set up a plan to um, try to keep ourselves in balance of simple living and also to ask the other volunteers that come to stay with us so in terms of water usage and light usage and food usage uh, we ask people to we we try to eat in community as much as possible so as to be preparing the least amount of food um, we ask people to double up on laundry loads and and conserve on water usage uh, so as to stick within the simple living. Then I started working at a daycare in East St. Louis and that's really what I think has helped me grow ministry-wise because I'm working with people and this is in East St. Louis in a very poor area and stuff so um, you know you get to see you get to really interact with people that way and kind of see who you're helping at out instead of you know sitting in a, a private school office and you know just doing a little I still work there and I definitely love it and but uh, getting to actually work with people has been a really, a really interesting thing for me. And I think it's helped me grow a lot just to kind of see, you know, how other people live. I've met so many wonderful people and worked with so many wonderful people since coming here. And um, it's just been amazing and all the different types of communities I've formed, not only within, you know, my own small Marianist community, but um, being able to spend time with the brothers, having dinner with them frequently, and um, my co-workers, which are volunteers at my work, we've, you know, kind of formed a bond, as well as with the other volunteers in the St. Louis area. It's just a great way to, to meet people, meet different sorts of people, and just get kind of pushed out of your comfort zones a little bit in certain areas, and just kind of and you just learn so much from all of that. I suppose in those three areas I've grown in uh, terms of just, uh, well, patience for one, because um, dealing with any sort of people, especially like the 50 girls that I deal with at my school, you know, really helped me with that. And just, you know, the ins and outs of um, living with a whole new person <laughs> that I'd never really met before. And, um, you know, dealing with the staff at school and, you know, just meeting new community members. The growth, a lot of it has been in my, in my ministry. Um, I work with uh, more of a, an inner city kind of rough population, very different from how I grew up. Um, and, uh, and that, you know, a lot of people go down there for a day or a week, you know, and, and when you go like that, you, you see all the good things, you see uh, maybe a greater sense of community or the way people take care of each other and you're just like, oh, that's wonderful. But when you are with them long term, you you see the struggles and you're frustrated by the different challenges that they have. You know, there's things that they do that are easy for me to do right in my life and very hard for them to do right. And there's things that they do right, like giving and, and not being greedy and things that are, they just, they just come naturally to them. But for me, that's really hard. So uh, the... The work there is it's a challenge. You know, we have to work together and learn from each other. And being open to that is one way that I've changed a lot. I think I've grown a lot in the past six months. Um, community has been very different, um, but it's been great since the three people I, well, the two people I live with, they have different personalities. Um, we're very different people. But I think I've grown because of that. Uh, people have their likes and dislikes. So do I. But I think our community has been gifted because of that. Um, as far as ministry, it's been a real humbling experience. Uh, I'm not doing the type of work that I'm used to or the type of work that um, I thought I'd be doing. It's been a surprise, but it's been a good surprise. I've been growing, working with the people you know, that I work with, um, talking and meeting with new people around the city. It's, it's just been an awesome experience.
I haven't been really good at this, but I try to um to like overlap the three or you know all the aspects of my life as much as possible. So overlap the ministry with the community, with the prayer, with the service, with the social life. Just and as much overlap as you can get. Like the more like the more you can like you're not so stressed all the time. You're not running around trying to do too much. And also, um, it, yeah, it just makes a more balanced, all-rounded life. It's a good program that the people that that create it and people that make it happen are are really good people that they work hard at what they do and they they put on a good program. And then it's well, real well-rounded, um, like we were talking about. And that that there's not like a too much in one direction. It's real balanced. Like there's emphasis on prayer, service, show, social life, community. And that, and that, all that together makes, you know, anybody's life good, and the program emphasizes that.